Okay guys, so basically today's video is just a quick video on how to assemble the Moravian Star. I know I've gotten a lot of questions on how to do that because my last two videos on the Moravian Star was just work in progress videos of orders I had. So I decided since I have to make 18 of these, I will show you how to assemble them. Uh, basically I designed them off of either just a triangle that I like, just one triangle, or I will design them off the size of the middle, which would be a square. I would draw a square out just to get an idea of I have gems that hang in them and things like that. So you could go either or. You could draw a square out and then draw one perfect triangle that meets up with those corners. Or you could just draw a perfect triangle that you love, whether it be a pointed one or a short fat one. So you just wanna make sure it is a perfect triangle. <laughs> and you can do that by either using a ruler or just going online, printing one out or designing one in a program. But of course, you're gonna need to cut all of it out first, grind it all out, and then foil it all out. So. At this point, by the time I start assembling, my fingers are in pain. So good luck. So to achieve that perfect square in the middle, no matter what size your triangle, no matter what type of triangle you're using, it is going to equal a square on the base. So you are just gonna need a 90 degree angle and that's it. And two at a time, you will just meet on a 90 degree angle corner and just joint solder those together. That's it, you will do that four times total if you're gonna make a 3D star. I'm just doing like half Moravian stars. These orders are just to hang on the wall, not to hang from the ceiling. So I will just do this three times and then I will use single triangles to fill in the rest. So here I am just joint soldering these two triangles on another 90 degree angle. And this guarantees me that they will be perfectly symmetrical. I would just meet those two pieces that I've made and I will just solder them in those two spots. And now it will be all one beautiful, perfectly symmetrical piece. So if you're going to, like me, mine are hung by this jump ring, which I also have crystals hanging from. So this is when you would want to put that there, especially if you're making like a three-dimensional one because it's not gonna be easy to get in there. So I would do that step now. And then make sure you solder the inside seams of the star. You don't wanna get on top of it. You don't want any solder to kind of get in your way of putting the other points on. So just solder the inside seam, making sure all those points soldered together. So this is me making my third jointed piece and that will meet up right as it should. There's no measuring needed as long as it's on a 90 degree angle, you know it will be exact. So it's pretty cool as long as your triangles are all cut out to the exact same size. This will be a very simple, no fail way to assemble these. You're going to joint them in place. If you feel like one's a little uneven, do not try to move it or wiggle it or anything like that. Well, since the solder is hard on there, they are like welded together. If they are a little uneven, that's not a problem. Just touch your soldering iron to it and just gently adjust. If you do it any other way, you really risk, you know, fracturing the piece. So once you have these on there, you'll just make sure each point where they meet are nice and beautifully soldered together, making sure the joints look perfect. And then you will just add your single pieces. 
if you get like uneven sized triangles, you will have like a little lip. It will show that they are not looking like they just flow into one another. You don't have to necessarily panic because you can kind of fill that area with the solder. So that will help take away from that kind of eyesore. I had a few of mine that I had to just go back and cut out all together. If your triangles are not exact, they will not meet up exact. So that's really the hardest part is just making sure your templates are good and your cutting is perfect and that's it. So if you are going to make a three-dimensional one like this, you would just flip that over and do the same exact thing to the other side. Obviously you only need four more pieces. So I did these kind. I had orders where there was like an assortment of them to go on people's walls as a like kind of bundle order. So I did all different sizes, all different textures of glass, and I put them on my wall <laughs> to kind of show you, I guess, you know what the look it's going to achieve is. Um, this one it was actually for an astronomer which is really cool and they were making a constellation on one of their walls in their homes. So I just wanted to kind of show you how they looked when you just do a half a star. It's pretty cool. I'm not sure which one I love more. They both bring different magic to it. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I will be back with more videos and see you next time.